Hello friends, today my topic is test cases for refrigerator. Friends, in this video, I will explain all the test cases that we can write for the refrigerator. So let's start today's topic, test cases for refrigerator. Friends, we can write two types of test cases. First one is the positive test cases and next one is the negative test cases. Firstly, I will explain all the positive test cases and after that I will explain the negative test cases. So let's start. Friends under positive test cases I will explain all the test cases that comes under these types of testing. Means test cases under installation testing, UI testing, usability testing, functional testing, non-functional testing, performance and load testing and compatibility testing. So let's explain one by one. The first one is the installation testing. Friends, under installation testing, these are the eight points that we will check. So let's start. The first one is the we will verify all the parts of the refrigerator are available or not. Second, verify all the refrigerator's legs are fitted properly. Third, verify that both the refrigerator doors are fitted properly if it is two or multi-door refrigerator. Next, verify that installation process is given into the manual or not. Because every refrigerator or every device comes with its manual. And in manual, everything is explained that how you can install the proper device. Next, verify that power wire is given with the refrigerator or not. Verify that refrigerator gets turned on or not after plugging in the power source. As you plug the refrigerator plug into the power source then we will check it out that it is working or not. Next, verify that light is turned on as power on. Last point. We will verify that power plug of the refrigerator is as per the country standard. So these are the 8 points that we will check under the installation testing. Now let's move to the next testing. Next one is the UI testing or design based testing. Under UI testing or design based testing, I will explain near about 13 or 14 points. So let's start. First one, we will check does the refrigerator make the follow the design specification. The design of the refrigerator must be as per the required specification. Second, does the refrigerator have the color as per specification and similarly door. Refrigerator door must be as per specification. Next, does the door handle as per the specification. Fifth one that we will check under the UI testing or design based testing, we will verify the dimension the height, width, breadth of the refrigerator, it must be as per specification. Next, verify the outer body of the refrigerator, whether it should be metallic, plastic or any other material as per specification. Next, verify the weight of the refrigerator, it must be as per specify. Next, verify if the refrigerator material must not be brittle, means it must not be easily damaged. Next, verify if the refrigerator legs are on the same level on the floor or not. And the last point, we will verify the height of the refrigerator body from the floor. Let's make it correct. It is number 10 and it is number 11. That's it. So these are the 11 points that we will check under UI testing or design based testing. Now next is usability testing. Under usability testing, I will explain 10 points and the first one is the we will verify whether the refrigerator is very easy to use. Next, verify whether it has got an adjustment setting to make high or low. Next, verify whether the refrigerator has got some air space to flow of the air. Fourth, we will verify whether the refrigerator has got enough space to put water bottle etc into it. Fifth, verify if there is a back spot in the refrigerator. 
next verify the usability of the refrigerator as a single door refrigerator or multi door refrigerator it depends upon the construction of the refrigerator if it is single door or multi door next verify the condition when washed with water or effect of the water of the refrigerator eighth point we will verify all the interior of the refrigerator is easy to clean it must be next verify all the doors are easy to open or not and last point is we will verify the hinges of the doors now let's move to the next testing next one is the functional testing in functional testing we basically test the function of the device here our device is refrigerator so we will check out the functionality of the refrigerator the first point we will verify the setting of the refrigerator is as defined or not next verify all the cooling settings level 1 to 7 in some refrigerator it is 1 to 8 or 1 to 9 but in generally it is 1 to 7 we will check all the cooling setting by putting the device or refrigerator on level 1 to level 7 next verify the light in the refrigerator turn on when open means when you open the refrigerator the light must be turned on and next point explain that when you close the refrigerator the light must be off next verify that how much time it takes to chill the water similarly we will also verify that how much time it takes to freeze the water on different settings next point verify the condensation feature of the refrigerator that is working fine or not it is very important next we will also write the test cases for all the settings that are mentioned in the manual for the refrigerator next verify for the brightness of the light here we talk about the brightness of that light that is inside the refrigerator it must not be very low it must not be very high next verify if the light is producing heat when door is open for longer time verify for the compressor cutoff time after how much time the compressor cut off automatically or not next verify the deforce mode so these are the 13 points that we will check under the functional testing so now let's move to the non-functional testing these are the six points that we will check under the non-functional testing the first one is that test whether the object here in this case refrigerator is the object must look like a refrigerator if somebody sees that that he can say that yes this is a refrigerator second this point is not valid here this point the look and feel must be good next switch off the power and check how long cooling remains next verify the look of the refrigerator it is available or not or it is working fine or not next verify the cooling leaks from the door or any side of the refrigerator it, there must not be any leakage of the cooling so these are the points that we will check under the non-functional testing let's mix make the sequence correct here it is now let's move to the next testing and next is the performance and load testing under performance and load testing we will check it out eight points the first one is the put a high amount of pressure on the refrigerator plates for a particular amount of time and check out that how it performs next pay particular attention to put stress on a point of the refrigerator third point we will verify that refrigerator continues to perform its function in every condition next verify that refrigerator can handle the voltage fluctuations fifth verify that what voltage low or high level freeze stop working on which temperature or or on which voltage not temperature on which voltage it stop working next open the refrigerator and verify how the variation in cooling happen inside it next point we will verify that is there any voltage fluctuation when door is open 
नेक्स्ट लोड द फूड आइटम अप टू एल बियॉन्ड द लिमिट एंड कैपेसिटी एंड चेक मीन्स वी विल पुट द गुड्स इन टू द फ्रिज अप टू एल लिमिट एंड चेक इट आउट इट इज वर्किंग फाइन और नॉट सो दीज आर द सेवन पॉइंट दैट वी विल चेक अंडर परफॉर्मेंस एंड लोड टेस्टिंग नेक्स्ट इज द कंपेटेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग here in compatibility testing we will check two points the first one is the test by putting the distinct type of surface like floor glass wood it is not necessary we can also remove this point i am going to remove it the important point is here is we will verify if the refrigerator is properly working on all environment conditions if it is mentioned in the requirement specification So friends these are the positive test cases that i have explained till now now i am going to explain negative test cases friends under negative test cases we can check four points first one verify refrigerator stress testing by dropping refrigerator down from a particular height not from, not from very above just hold it and drop it verify if nothing is breaking no damage to refrigerator and refrigerator is performed without any issue second verify how refrigerator working in different climate and environment conditions like room temperature and different climate conditions third point we will verify the balance of the refrigerator with the three legs if four legs are available then we will check the balance on Three legs or two legs that comes under the negative test cases, and last one is the check what happens if we place the refrigerator upside down and run it. It is totally negative test cases. Please don't try it. So friends, these are the test cases of the refrigerator. If you like my video, please like it, comment it, and share it with your friends. Friends, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. If you subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. then you will get the notification of the next video that i am going to upload on my channel one more thing if you want to get this data i will provide this data on my blog or my website that is www. all testing stuff.com you can get all this data or all the test cases that i have explained here and you can also get the data that is related to automation testing or mobile testing this is my site where you can get all this data so friends don't forget to subscribe my channel and have a good day thank you so much